In that case, welcome back to Milk Talk. So spend an entire day with us. We started nice and early with the brouette. I don't even know how to say brouette in English. Um, um, what's it called? Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. There you go. My French dad knows. Anyways, because we were going to plant some garlic. <laughs> so to do <laughs> that, we create little circles around these trees. And the reason we're planting garlic around these trees is because it keeps away la, la cloque, which is this kind of, I guess, bacteria. What is it? Some disease on the leaves. Disease on the leaves. There you go. And we also put oh, eggs the in the trees, trees, of the peach trees. So these were to protect our little peach trees. And we have five of them. Then we also harvested some rando squash because we are like, why not while we're at it? Anyways, we created these little circles and great. There you go. Um, and then it was time to take the little iggy um, needles out. I'm really not able to speak English after two days here. I'm so sorry. Anyways, then went inside and I was like, I need to change because we had a day ahead of us. Put on this hot pink turtleneck and some sunglasses and I was like, I'm going to look out of this. Then I had my morning magnesium. Um, anyways, today we were going to go to a brocante, which is like a flea market that was also the chestnut festival. And so we just were prepping for that. And I was like, I need to get my vitamins in. And then I also had a little cafecito. I've been doing the Stockholm Lungo Espresso. Nespresso, I mean. It was great. And then these are some mushrooms we also harvested. And here's some chestnuts we harvested. So there you go. Everything from the garden. Had my little coffee. Had my little mag. And then I went outside and my dad was like, you need to change because you look like you're going to stick out. So I stole a sweater from him. We closed up. And then when we were in the car, he was like, Claire, the tags are still on this. So we pulled this out and prepared for a beautiful day out. Nsk, 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 nsk. Happy Sunday. Anyway, seat warmers on always. Uh, anyways, we made our way over to this new little town and parked in a really chic parking lot. Um, and then my dad made friends with all these bikers going by. And then we were on a mission to get some great antiques and to get some chestnuts. And guess what? I'm going to break it to you right now. We didn't either. We bought nothing and we actually forgot to eat any chestnuts. So it's okay. But we did find some like really cute little things. It's just nothing was perfect, you know? Nothing was perfect. And we're not about to buy something that's not perfect. However, the day was quite nice. The day was lovely. Oh, and then we did a bakery taste test there too. Who is that? Oh, just a random man on a bench. Anyways, um, nice pain raison, we have to say, except my dad threw up after this. <laughs> Um, and then I decided, you know what, we have some beautiful mushrooms. I would love to make some wine gelée for tonight. So that's what I did. Then I prepped a bunch of pie dough because my friends are all coming for my birthday, which is so exciting. And I figured if I want to make a quiche or a tartatin or anything, at least I'll have the dough just ready in the freezer or in the fridge. Um, then my dad made me try his menincina salata, which is like baba ganoush, but Greek. Anyways, he used my recipe and it worked and I was very proud of him, even though he blitzed it all. That's also fine. Then I ate some random gelée wine jelly with uh, ham and mayo because I don't know why not um and then it was freezing cold weirdly in the afternoon and we had to finish planting the garlic but for a little bit of moral moral pep we had some figs from the tree we got all the little pieces of garlic out and we planted them and you have to put the little tail on top right look at that voila oh que c'est beau a little go to bed go to bed good night good night Anyway, so we prepped all of those, and you're not meant to use the garlic from the inside of the garlic head, only the outside, because the inside, like, isn't as strong, I guess. But anyways, we got that all done, and then we saw the Angelica. Now, if you remember, Angelica is great candy, so we're doing that again. And then we found all of these puffball mushrooms. Some of them are ready, some of them aren't. So these little guys aren't ready yet. And the big one that was ready, someone had hit, like, a soccer ball, so that person's our enemy now. And then, again, because I haven't said that my friends are coming enough times just because I'm so excited, we started prepping all the beds so that we knew, like, what kind of sheets to get, stuff like that for everyone. And it was just very exciting. And then I prepped some Angelica to make some candy. And then what else? Oh, then we fed the sourdough starter, too, because we've never made sourdough here. But this is starter that I brought from London. So that's going to be fun. And then we also prepped some chestnuts because we're going to, like, we're going to make some chestnut spread. Why not? Snacked on some random hearts of palm while my dad played spelling bee because he has to be the queen bee every day. Queen bee, condiment pear, queen bee. Anyways, <laughs> then we yeah, made yeah. the candy and watched the beginning of the rugby. And honestly, when the English people sang during Fiji's war chant, really not cool. Let me just say that, not cool. Um, and then I made us some tea because even though I'm against England in this game, just because of the way the audience uh, <laughs> yelled at the beginning, I am drinking PG tips because I do live in London and I do love this country. Anyways, we needed a little bit of 
pep, so we had some homemade wine, I mean nut wine, which isn't actually wine at all, then cooked the mushrooms with some chicken, green beans, some rice, some more baguette and butter on the side, because obviously, duh, then now it's halftime and we're watching France, and we both just had to take Tums and Gaviscon because of how much anxiety we have, anyways, that's it, good night. Hey, no